I'm McKenna Anthony. And I'm Katarina martinez Candela, and, and we, we would, would like to welcome you to a tour at Turkey Foot Middle School. Here at Turkey Foot Middle School, we have many green energy features, and we would like to share some of them with you now. Hi guys, I'm Emma. Instead of laying flooring here at Turkey Foot, we stained and polished our concrete, which is not only cheaper, but is more durable and very low maintenance. What I am standing next to right now is part of the water catchment system. When the rain hits the roof, it funnels into these pipes, then travels underground into a 20,000 gallon underground tank. We are standing next to the rest of our water catchment system. Before the water is pumped to our toilets, it travels through this UV light tube, which kills the bacteria in the water before being pumped to the toilet. This has saved over a half a million gallons of water. We are standing on our school's green roof. There are many great benefits of having green roof at our school. Some of the benefits include creating a better environment for plants and animals, and also reducing the building's runoff. Some of the plants that we have exhibited here are tomatoes, cucumbers, watermelons, and peppers. When it rains, the rain seeps through the plants in the soil, creating cleaner water and less water runoff for our building. So, as you can see, a green roof is a great addition to our school like ours. I'm standing in a naturally lit classroom. All of the light you see is coming into the classroom from the solar light tubes above me. These light tubes can adjust themselves using motors to allow more or less light into the classroom. Turkey Foot Middle School uses a geothermal heat pump system to heat and cool the building and provide domestic hot water for both the kitchen and the bathrooms. The geothermal system is also used as part of the walk-in boxes for the freezers and refrigerators for all of the food in the kitchen. Under the practice field, there are 136 wells that are 300 feet deep. The wells are filled with treated water and transfer the heat from the ground to the building during the winter months. And in the summer months, they transfer the heat from the building to the ground. Turkey Foot Middle School is so efficient, it actually has seven less wells than Kaywood Elementary, even though it's twice the size of Kaywood. The photovoltaic system at Turkey Foot Middle School is comprised of both polycrystalline and thin film solar panels. There is a 100 kilowatt polycrystalline system located on the steel racks on the roof of the school and over the front entrance. There is another 58 kilowatt polycrystalline system located on the covered walkway. The 285 kilowatt thin film system is located on the flat areas of the school's roof for a total of 443 kilowatts. Last year, the photovoltaic system generated over 473 megawatt hours of electricity, or 55% of the electricity used by the school. Hi, I'm Audrey. As more students come to the classroom, the more carbon dioxide in the air. When more carbon dioxide is added into the air, the more sleepy and off-task students get. This right here measures how much carbon dioxide is in the air and lets fresh air in and get them back on task. Here I am standing by a water fountain. This water fountain has two main features. One of these features is that it has a water bottle filler. This water bottle filler has saved over 45,000 plastic bottles from being thrown away. Another main feature is that it does not have a water chiller, which means that the water is warmer, but turkey foot doesn't care because we like to be energy efficient. 